Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my new video where we are trying out the new rune in First Strike. Now, my first impressions um, so far from this rune is that it's definitely a hell of a lot less damage than Electrocute, but it can be usable in um, Swain, for Swain because he can do very, very quick trades. He's very bursty, particularly in the early game when you're able to hit your E and then get a quick passive uh, QW all on in that little bit of time window that is going to give you the extra gold coming out of the first strike. So let's see how this um, game goes. Um, I don't think this is going to be top tier. I think this is going to be decent in lanes that you're probably not going to get a kill in and that they're safe. So we're playing against a full AD team. Um, oof, a lot of assassins. This feels kind of bad. I'm probably going to be going a Everfrost setup just because of um, t uh, the three melee champions and uh, how nice and um, cheap it is now. We'll see. Okay, Ezreal doesn't want to trade with me. Classic Ezreal players never, ever, 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 ever want to trade with you. They always just want a max range Q farm. That's why I absolutely hate them. Even when you land CC on the enemy, they are not going to do anything. Okay, they have the level two. Team is losing. That's fine. All right, Let's see if we can land something. Here, we have our first strike up. Okay, cool. Nice. I hate when idiots uh, ping you. Alright, nice. We got a pretty good start. I don't care about Ezreal players, you can absolutely go die in a hole if he's not going to trade with me. We are just going to start taking his farm. Okay, <sighs> cool. All right, I kind of just want to get this pushed in and then let him uh, just kind of farm because he is an Ezreal. I think this is going to be another one of those Ezreals that um, uh, <laughs> that is not going to be very useful. So we're just going to see what we can do to carry the game. Um, on second thought, I'm going to be going Leandre's just so I can have a little bit more carry potential just because of how... Um, Mental boom this guy is off me taking a couple farm when obviously he's a uh, inferior player that really needs to uh, <laughs> just uh, sit back and let me carry lane. People that pick Ezreal into vain lanes are just so, uh, they're just terrible, terrible human beings. So it only has added an extra 46. I think I've procced it like two or three times, so it's not that much. Um, it is going to give me a little bit more gold income. So um, in lands, again, where you're not going to get too many kills, maybe it's super safe, like a Lulu with Resolve Guardian and a Ezreal or a Ezreal Yumi. This is going to be um, the meta setup, just so you can get a little bit of extra gold, because you most likely aren't going to be able to get a kill. Ezreal players just absolutely do not deserve um, a response from me, so I never type to them because they are just... Um, the uh, worst people on the NA servers. Nice! Silas is super popping off. Damn it. I'm missing a lot of ease. Alright, cool. Got it pushed in. Gonna help this uh, Olaf down with the scout on the bottom. If you guys have any questions or if you want to see any particular item builds, I'd uh, love to help you guys out with that. Just uh, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm just assuming that you guys would want a video on the first strike just because it's a newer rune and it is most likely uh, people are going to be curious to see if it performs well on Swain. 
Swain already does have decent damage. You don't really need the electrocute, but sometimes it can be the difference between getting a kill or not. Alright. Cool. I'll take that trade. Get our first strike down. Nice. Just gonna let the Ezreal have it. Oh, I could have pathed better. Nice. Shit, I might give a shutdown up here. It's all good. We just hit him with the tip of that Q. So we're in a nice spot. Um, pretty, pretty comfortable spot. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, shit. He has his ult. Yeah, just all I wanted to do is fade. Let's see if he tries to. Nice. So the Ezreal's gonna be pretty strong. Let's see what we got here. They didn't change the build order for this. Overall, my first impression is I do think that Crown of the Shattered um, Queen can be um, definitely useful in games where you're feeding, maybe you're a little bit behind. Um, it can be super, super effective. Um, Leonji's, when you feel like you can carry the game, is going to be your best setup. Everfrost, when your team needs utility and has a crap ton of damage. But as you can see here, um, I have three um, people on the top side of them. I have four other teammates that aren't really high damage. Overall, our team comp isn't super high damage, so we need to be accelerated. And we need to be pumping out as much damage as uh, possible. <laughs> Looks like they didn't itemize into a early executioners, if you ever play... Um, sent it into the um, Swain lane. You definitely want to have the uh, early executioners. I want to get the kill. Oh. <laughs> right. We got him to invest his uh, flash. God, it felt like the Ezreal wasn't even auto attacking there. Uh, the he got a shutdown on me, but uh, we got a gold reset on him, and I think we're in a decent spot. I don't really like the <clears throat> inspiration tree in general. Uh, magical footwear obviously is nice, basic get delivery, and time warp tonic can be helpful, but I, I just heavily, heavily, heavily prefer how well the um, domination tree works because of how important ultimate hunter is for you, how well cheap shot works with your early game potential and burst, and it just really fits. It slots really well into your overall kit. <laughs> we steal gold from him. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, damn. He had a... Our sign had a shutdown at what? I think that E's gonna hit? Yep. We are on fire with our E's today, man. We're hitting the everything. This is why I just absolutely refuse to talk to Ezreal's because they're just essentially useless human beings that only um, are able to win games off of the grace of uh, how good their support player is. And they just do 50% win rate where they just, uh, if they have a winning team, they just add a couple cues in team fights and that's pretty much all they do. I really want to have this. Did you see really not? <laughs> what a vagina. Come on, man. I baited them in. Um, I threw that W on the minions so I could get level 6. Damn. I'm bringing it over to the Ezreal for the lols. <laughs> I encourage you guys, if uh, any of you guys play with a um, Ezreal, do not ever, 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 ever talk to them. If they say anything, just completely disregard them. Gonna wait for my ultimate. Hmm. Guess we'll see how this turns out.
Ah. Damn, I didn't have enough time for another Q. It's unfortunate. They're like, whole team came down. Holy. Alright, so let's grab these tabbies. They can be pretty, pretty effective right here. I don't really think his, um, his build path is going to change up too much. Let's take the raptors, I'll piss them off. I'm sure some of them will try and uh, stop this. Damn. If only our Ezreal would have roamed. It's really unfortunate I didn't have my ult. That's pretty big though. Ooh, if he would have popped that just a little bit sooner. Hmm, I guess I don't want to wait. He might bait someone with his, uh, with his W shield, we'll see. I'll hopefully slow someone. Cool. Ezreal being absolutely useless as normal is fine though. <clears throat> He sits in farms, even though this is when he should be power spiking on his uh, completed Sheena item, and the Vayne doesn't have a completed item. You just get Ezreal's ahead, and they don't even look to fight in their power spikes, and then they just get out. Um, they get outskilled by people like Vayne, and then they complain about their teammates in late-game team fights, not doing anything. <laughs> or they need more peel. I mean, you're playing Ezreal, you don't need peel. All right, cool, cool, cool. Decent spot. Yeah, it's just not really the, I don't think this is enough gold um, production to be worth more than the how much um, extra strength the Electrocute gives you. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I didn't need a flash because I have tabbies. Ooh. Oh, damn, my W isn't a high enough level yet. Damn. They're going to have a lot of healing. <clears throat> All right, let's grab our stopwatch, get a little bit more AP. And we are in a relatively good spot. Now, um, our definitely... They're going to outscale us quite heavily. Um, they're going to have a lot of damage coming out of their um, bot lane because Senna scales really well. Vayne scales really well, obviously. Um, Zed and Olaf. Uh, I would say Zed scales a bit better than Olaf. my god if he wouldn't have killed him there jesus eh let's grab the uh, cdrs a little bit better <clears throat> i don't know if me trading one for one for a pretty behind uh, rengar is worth there i thought that this um scion was just gonna ult him the second he tried to jump in but uh what can you do obviously if i had ult there i'd beat the rengar pretty easily or if i wasn't going for a strike yeah I'm, my opinion of this just really isn't I mean, I'm doing a really big burst combos, like when I get the first strike, and it just, I mean, it scales definitely because it gives you more gold as a percentage, 
and then the cooldown lowers on it. I mean, maybe that's... I, I, maybe I just shouldn't judge it so heavily um, for its performance right now. Is this Ezreal for real? Did he really use his only ability that wouldn't stop a back? I swear, man. NA Ezreals are the absolute worst. That's pretty big. I don't know why you'd do that. Nice. Get a quick little double kill. Nice. Get a little triple kill. Let's get this game going, baby. I'm definitely going to be the um, primary carry for my team, which is a little bit unfortunate just due to how many assassins the enemy team has. Dude, what is this Warwick movement? Dude, that W forces ult out. He's baiting you so hard, dude. Stop! Oh my god. So dumb. This is so cringe. Jesus. All right, we grab that. Gonna go into our uh, Morello's next item. I, I shouldn't have committed like that. It was just so pointless. I mean, he's chasing some, a pretty much a full bruiser or what? He doesn't have like any pure damage items, and then he has barrier. Oh, I wonder how quickly his ultimate stacks up lethal tempo. That's interesting. Lethal tempo Warwick. I think this is a great game for uh, YouTube just due to the fact that it's um, it's relatively even. It's not too stompy one side or the other. Um, however, it is an Ezreal game, and I heavily dislike Ezreal games. Did that man just ults so he wouldn't W. Oh, he's legendary. Holy crap. I think he's just not dying because we don't have... Who's the only healing reduction? Just Silas right now. And mid... Midwick. He definitely falls off though, but I mean, our entire team falls off. I'm gonna just have to get some sort of insane carry. And me having to itemize um, healing reduction is really gonna hurt my uh, damage curve. Dude, are you really gonna miss your cues? Ugh, why didn't I just zone use that? Alright, cool. Whatever. That's fine. Let's grab this. Ugh, I feel so fucking bad. <laughs> okay. Um, Shadow Flame could be decent. How many shields does the enemy team have? Oh, nice. They killed Zed and I got that. They're gonna have a couple shields. Dude, Shadow Flame might be the play. Ugh. Except I don't have enough for... You just killed the tower. Ah, fuck. Okay. Yeah, I could have zone used that Zed combo and would have uh, probably lived there. Yeah, let's, I'm going to try out Shadow Flame next item just because I know that my team is heavily lacking damage and this Ezreal isn't really on point with the, his just overall damage. And then his skill shots and being like semi aggressive, like at all.
Nice. Ah, I can't get a passive proc here. It's unfortunate. I don't know why. I did not need to ult there. This is a fucking 3v1. I don't... Yeah, we can't um, bear him, but we can inhib. Nice. Got a decent amount of gold. Let's get our sweep on, make sure we're controlling this vision. It's a relatively important dragon. We got a Hextech uh, soul. Thanks for the free passive proc. Shit. Th this is why maybe I just can't go presence of mind and I just have to go domination secondary. I'm not going to take Zettel. They literally just let me freaking rot against this freaking vein. Ugh, didn't have my ultimate. It's whatever. We won the fight. I think a lot of it has to do with me eating the sad, sad ultimate. Hmm. Hmm. Dealing ability damage. Gain 2% of your bonus. I don't know if that's worth it. If that's better. I'm just going to try it out because we're trying a new item. We're trying new runes. Let's see how it goes. It should amp my damage, though, quite heavily just because of uh, Spell Pen is really strong with your decent base damages you have on Swain. Again, it's only 500 damage, only 400 gold over like a long ass game where I've had the uh, freaking, what is that, 24 KP? I, I just feel like it should be so much better. Like, my Electrocute would probably be, like, in the 900 to, like, 1,000, I feel. I guess Scion skills decently, but, I mean, he gets chewed up by Vayne. Huh. He didn't even go tank. Well, I guess this is tank, but... Hmm. I really think that this is going to be the... The Glacial Augment on... Um, Scion is just absolutely bonkers. I just think that's going to be great. Oh, dude, he got so... Dude, look at... Freaking classic. Is he going to go back into this? Nah, he wouldn't check vision like that. He's too far behind and he's 0 and 11. Ah, I needed a Zonias. Oh, I didn't think they were gonna have that kind of damage that quickly. I need just, I wanted to get my Ignite e, EQ off, but I just couldn't. Damn. Dude, I, I don't know about this freaking Olaf. I mean, he just should be going full tank. Yeah, guess there was never really any bounties because we were pretty close. Oh, dude, what are you doing? Oh God, just make a decision. Oh, that that oh, Warwick is chasing him down. Yeah, he's pretty dead. Man, it's a rough game. I'm feeling like I'm maximizing my damage in the window, but it, it just doesn't feel like a, a good um, Swain uh, item. I'm guessing Gangplank is going to have a good time with first strike. Maybe Ezreal. Just going to push this lane out a bit. I don't know why they're trying to protect a tier 1 when the enemy team has a uh, Baron. Dead. 
don't really have much damage coming out of anyone besides me or Silas. Just three kind of... Uh, I mean, Silas doing decent, but Olaf and Ezreal are just pretty useless. And their only useless player pretty much is... Um, so what do you call it? It's Senna. So it's two useless versus one use. Woo! Alright. Let's get that shut down, baby. That's big. Alright, we're gonna have our Shadow Flame. And just finish our Morellos. We need level 16 pretty bad. What is happening over here, man? This Warwick is just stupid strong. I know I'm not gonna be able to kill him. I'm just getting the uh, um, stacks. Back maybe here? No. Damn, didn't catch him. Not on our boots will hide the blood stain. Man, I literally hard carry that team fight. Ticket? Oh, the tick almost got it. How much gold do I need to finish this? 17. After the battle, the raven yeah, maybe. <laughs> I wish the perfect timing gave a cooldown on your cooldown reduction still on your Zonia status stasis. Then I would like that um, this tree a lot more. Dude, what are we doing? I don't think we can fight this. We're way too far behind, and Ezreal's top wing and useless. Uh, Does he really have that range? Ah, okay, good. I trade it for him at least. Whatever. I think I like just getting more magic and armor. I think I like the older version of Demonic Embrace. I should use it a little bit more, see what happens, but I do think that it is going to be a bit better. I do want to try Horizon Focus, though, because so many things proc this. Your E procs it, and then obviously your W always gets it. I don't know. I just feel like, I mean, why not just for 600 more gold go Rabidons over Shadow Flame? What are the AP? I mean, your AP ratios are, I mean, it's 90 on your Q when it hits the max amount. Dude, what is this Ezreal? Dude, you should not play Ezreal ever, 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 ever again. I don't even know. This uh, Zed is quite, quite slippery. Holy shit. Okay. 
Woo. Great game, guys. If you have any questions, again, um, about Swain, uh, let me know. Obviously, first strike isn't going to be the best option unless you're just in a super, super passive boring lane like Yumi, Ezreal, or like a Resolve uh, Lulu and a super safe ADC that's going to be unable, that you're going to be unable to uh, punish. As always, guys, take it easy.